On race for three-year-old pacing, Colts and Geldings. Annihilator has drawn attention from the very first time he set foot on the racetrack, partially because of his brilliance and also partially because of his famous sire. In the five years since Niatros has retired, virtually every record in harness racing has fallen. Money records, time records, almost all except one. Niatros, now eight years old and at stud in upstate New York, is still the fastest standard bred in the history of the sport. At one time, he was also the richest, and in the summer of 1980, he paced to a record in the Meadowlands pace, the first million-dollar race. It was a welcome victory coming after the only two losses in his career. Card owner Lou Guida, driver Clint Galbraith, and the Niatros family celebrated that win five years ago. He's a great horse, and I think he'll even go faster as the season goes on. He showed tonight that uh, he looks like he's in great condition, and Clint gave him a great drive. Guida was right to think that Niatros could go faster. A few months later in Lexington came the crowning jewel in a career, a time trial against two running horses. He's in the final eight. Niatros is going to be the fastest ever in the sport. He races the wire. Niatros, 50 two and four record performer approaches the wire three quarters 21 and four and Nia Tross is home in 49 one fast you've seen it 149 and one is now the standard nobody had gone faster before nobody has since but this year one came close and appropriately it was a horse of whom Nia Tross could be proud if he understood that horse is Nia Later, the son of Nia Tross, who is the fastest racing standard bred in history the world record started early for Annihilator. Last summer in the Woodrow Wilson, it was the fastest mile ever by a two-year-old. Annihilator then wintered in Florida while his owners planned an ambitious three-year-old season for him, an assault on the money title by way of the Meadowlands pace and other races, and a possibly more serious assault on his sire's time trial record. Early in the season, trainer Bill Houghton was suggesting that a mile in an inconceivable 148 might be within reach. Well, 50 and 3 is a heck of a mile and way ahead of what anything else has gone at night so i really feel that the 148 is within his reach you never will know till he gets there and i've never been one to brag on anything like that but i really feel that this horse has that ability the metal lens pace was nearly routine a win a world record of 150 and three and headlines annihilator was the most famous standard bred in the country as a result of the pace the subject of features in sports illustrated and people magazine the next level was even more speed, and in a near exhibition race at the Meadowlands, thanks to spirited competition from Falcon Sealster, the race record came. Annihilator with long and powerful strides, and Bill O'Donnell urging him on. They're after the world record. Falcon Sealster is racing in second. They're coming to the final 16th. It's only Annihilator against the clock. Falcon Sealster in pursuit. They're coming to the finish. O'Donnell going to work. Here's Annihilator. Here's the final time. 149 and 3. This is the fastest race mile in history, and just two ticks off the time trial record of Niatros. Annihilator, another devastating performance. It was only the second mile in history below 150 and just two-fifths off Niatros' time trial record, a remarkable feat since time trials are often a second or more faster than race times. Yeah, he's an unbelievable horse. He, uh... It doesn't matter any kind of racetrack, though it's real hard to get over this track real fast, and the you know, clay track would knock another second or so off that, I think. There were challenges ahead for Nihilator, a win on a track smaller than a mile. His only career losses had been on five ace mile tracks, and a win in one of the traditional classics. Both were accomplished in the Little Brown Jug, and Bill Houghton thought that might be enough to make him horse of the year. I certainly think he should be. You never know how they'll vote, but I don't think you could have asked any horse to do any more. Of course, the Nihilator crew wanted something else, that all-time record of 149-1, and one, but rain at Springfield, wind, and a failure at DeCoin, and cold weather at the Red Mile have made that impossible. He will retire as the fastest racing standard bred ever, but his sire will have the overall record a bit longer. Nihilator has a chance to go over the $3 million mark in career earnings tonight. There is a special challenge. He suffered his only loss on a mile track last week at Garden State. So there he is. How does he compare with Niatros? How do you uh, look at it? Well, the 